Hello, friend. Today I'm reviewing the classic movie The Hills Have Eyes from 1977. And this movie was directed by Wes Craven. And it's a man versus man survival kind of story where this uh, family, this family is traveling to California, but they decide to stop and look at this mine, the silver mine that was given to them as a gift. And they pull into a gas station and there's like a crazy Ralph type character there who's played by Ralph Steadman and, uh, or John Steadman and, uh, yeah, John Steadman, and he, I, I, I knew I remembered him and that I liked him and that he was hilarious in some other movie, and it turns out the movie was the Cheech and Chong movie, Things Are Tough All Over. I just remember him being, like, laughing a lot and being hilarious in that movie, and, uh, but he's, like, saying... Just stay on the highway. Don't go go right to California. Don't t stop anywhere or take any side roads. Just stay on the highway. And he pulls off. And then um, this girl is all, there's this like hippie type girl. And she she wants to run away from the desert with the old man. But he tells her no. And, uh, and then the family decide to go look for the mine anyway, and they're on this road. And these big bomber planes, like, dive bomb them. And uh, they, they, uh, they swerve off the road, <coughs> <coughs> like, the map gets stuck in the man's face and he steers wrong and they end up in a ditch and the axle breaks. And so one man is going to go back to the gas station. The other man's trying to go to a, uh, military base. But the whole time there is there's these like cannibals who live in the, um hills and caves and they're like staking out the family and planning how they're gonna attack them because they want to steal their stuff and eat them and uh a lot of really crazy stuff happens it's very intense very suspenseful movie quality acting a lot of good screaming from the women in the family and uh the cannibals all have a lot of character one thing i really liked about this movie is that it has a good backstory the guy john steadman tells the, the history of what happened there in the desert and it really sets up a good story i really appreciated that um backstory in this movie and um, there's some great kills and violence and gore and dog attack and traps. And it's a really fun, really cool movie. My friends, uh, Devious and Danny, suggest, requested that I review this movie. So if you're in my movie group on Facebook, Bizarre Reviews, you can go in there and request movies for me to watch. Um, I was a bad person tonight because I saw that this movie was for rent for $2.99 from Amazon Prime. But then I thought, oh, let me check YouTube. And yeah, sure enough, I found it for free on YouTube. So I bootlegged it. I watched a bootleg version rather than paying the, the price to rent it. So that definitely makes me feel like a bad person, but oh well. And then while I was watching it, the YouTube app kept shutting down. It did it three times. 
And I was like, well, fuck, because I kept having to fast forward to where I left off. And then, so I got, it was getting pretty close to the end. And I just decided to try and watch it on my phone, the end of the movie on my phone. And uh, so that's what happened. And it was definitely worth it. A really good movie makes, I, I, I know I've seen it before. I think I even own this movie on VHS, but uh, it had been so long, I was like watching it again for the first time, and um, I want to see Hills Have Eyes Part 2 now from the 80s, and I also want to see the remakes to see, to try and remember if the remakes are any good. So anyways, thanks for watching, please comment. Please uh, like my videos. Let me know. Do you, are my videos like creepy crazy? Because I had I had a hater write comment that my videos come off as crazy creepy. So what do you think? Anyways, thanks for watching.